Hello, this is Easy Cooking 3 to 1. Today I'm going to make whole moong dal tadka. Details of the recipe is given below and at easycooking321.com. To start, I have a pan on medium heat with 2 cups of water and 3 fourth cup of whole moong dal and I let this cook until the dal is done. I'll add water as necessary for the dal to cook. To save time, you can cook the dal in a pressure cooker. While this is cooking, I'll prepare the spices for grinding. To grind, I'm going to use some chopped tomatoes, some chopped onions, I'm using one cup of chopped onions for this dish. Half I'll grind, the other half I'll use to saute. Some ginger and green chilies to taste. A few cloves of garlic. A quarter teaspoon of methi seeds. I'll add a little bit of water and grind this to a smooth paste. This has been ground. I'll keep it aside and wait for the dal to finish cooking. This dal has been cooking for about 25 minutes. I'll check to see if it is done. If it gives in easily, it is done. I'll turn the heat off, keep it aside and start preparing the gravy. I have a pan on medium heat with 3 tablespoons of oil. To it I'll add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and wait for the cumin seeds to sizzle. When the cumin seeds sizzle, I'll add the other half of the chopped onions and saute it until it's light brown. When the onions are turning brown, I'll add some turmeric powder. Some red chilli powder to taste. Some ground coriander. Some ground cumin. And some garam masala. After each addition, I'll saute it for 10 seconds. Add the ground spices. Mix them well. And I'll cover and let it cook for 5 minutes. While it is cooking, I'll open the cover and stir it occasionally to keep it from burning at the bottom. The combination of the ground spices is so wonderful that a very nice aroma is given out while this is cooking. After this has been cooking for 5 minutes, I'll add the cooked dal and you can either add water or milk. I'm adding milk. Mix it. And I'll cover and let this cook until everything has come to a good boil. After three minutes or so when it has come to a good boil, I'll add some salt to taste some chopped cilantro leaves or dhania pata and some lemon juice mix it let it cook for a minute or so turn the heat off and this is now ready to serve 
To make this dish richer, you can add 4 tablespoons of melted butter at the end. It is optional. This is an amazing tasty dish. You can serve it with chapati or rice or any grain. I want to thank Ramachandran for this recipe. Good food that was easy cooking. I hope you'll try it sometime. Thank you for watching.